Good morning and happy Monday, friends. It's Rachel and I'm here against this amazing, beautiful tree outside in downtown Roswell where I'm uh, choosing to do the meditation this morning just because it's so beautiful out here this morning. It's been crazy weather in the mornings. It almost feels like the fall and I'm so grateful for it because it's some of my favorite weather. So you'll notice there's a lot of noise behind me and that's quite fine, right? That's part of our meditation is not resisting it, instead just allowing it to be part of our experience. You hear cars driving by, maybe you hear the birds tweeting behind me. And sort of, you allow all of it to just happen. You'll notice that I might be scratching a little bit and if I need to scratch, I'm gonna scratch. There are boatload, shitload of mosquitoes out here. Um, so. We'll just let it be. So this morning's meditation is all about being intentional, being purposeful and mindful. And I believe this is really one of the most important avenues to living a peaceful, joyful life. That when we start to unravel and peel off the layers and become more mindful of ourselves and our own thoughts that we take back the control of how we feel. So many people are so unaware of what they're thinking throughout the day and don't realize that their thoughts are impacting how they feel and the actions that they take throughout each day, which directly impacts the results that happen for their lives. I've noticed for myself the more intentional I am with my thoughts, the more actions I take and the bigger the results I create. And it's a direct correlation between all three and it's pretty magnificent if you just stop and allow yourself to be more mindful in every single moment. So for example, when you're washing the dishes, if you take the time to really just feel the water on your skin and take the time to really feel the sensations of cleaning the dishes instead of being super involved in your thinking. And then another amazing way to practice being more intentional is like when you're driving, right? Do you get lost in thought, not even sure sometimes when you get somewhere how you got there? I do that sometimes. And instead, really feel the earth underneath your car, feel the wheel as you turn it, and feel your foot press on the pedal, right? Like these are just really simple ways to be more intentional in your day-to-day -day actions. One way I have been practicing recently being more intentional is in my listening. And when I really listen to people, just really be involved in their story, just really listen hard for what they're saying and also listen hard for what I think they're meaning to say. Sometimes it's not the exact same thing and also then listening hard for how I interpret it. It's really powerful. We can, you can listen without making a reaction or making up a story of how you're going to respond while you're listening. So often I believe this takes us out of the intentional listening and the being mindful. So this morning as we start our meditation, I want you to find an intentional seat. So sit up tall, back may be supported and allow yourself to be in your space first and just start to notice how you feel in your body. Notice your sit bones, if they're on the ground, how they press down into the ground or into your chair. Or maybe you're on a couch. Or maybe you're outside like me and you feel them on the earth underneath you. Like I feel all these twigs pressing up against my butt, poking me a little bit here and there. And you know, it's fine and feel the temperature on your skin, right? Is it warm to the touch or is it cool? And start to just notice the sounds, right? Like right now I hear the birds chirping, they're singing good morning. I hear cars passing by. I even hear a little bit of leaves just whistling in the background. 
and a little bit of a humming. I don't know if that's a truck or a generator, but something in the background. So getting super mindful with your surroundings and how they sound, how they feel, how you are in them. And start to bring that attention more inward. So start to just notice your own body, right? How does your body feel this morning? Did you wake up feeling like the Tin Man? Or did you wake up feeling alive and rejuvenated from an amazing night of sleep? Like last night I slept so well. So I woke up this morning, even though I only got maybe six and a half, seven hours of sleep, I felt really awake. And I was ready to sort of just jump out of bed when my alarm hit. And some mornings I wake up and I feel like I'm just dragging myself out of bed. But just become aware of, of that and of how your physical body feels in this moment, right? Like when you're sitting here, do you feel your hips? Are they loose or do they feel tight? Your belly, is it feeling empty right now or is it full? And how do your shoulders feel? Are they relaxed? Are they tense? And even the muscles across your eyes, how do they feel? So you just start to notice everything in your body without the need to judge it or criticize it or even label it a certain way, but just be in that space of being the witness to observe it, to be aware of it. And then start to draw some focus more now on your breath, being really mindful with your breath. Breathing in for the count of four. And then pausing for the count of four. And then exhaling for four. And then again, it's a pause for four. And then growing it, so you inhale for five. And then there's a pause at the top for five. Ooh. And then soft exhale out for five. And then again, pause for five. And then drawing breath in for six. And just feeling the expansion in the body. So the breath gets longer. Pause for six. And then exhale for six. And pause for six. Play with seven. Pause for seven and then release for seven. The bottom, there's that same pause again. And noticing that my count might be off and that's okay, you do your best. And it doesn't have to match mine. And then eight, you just draw in for eight. Get to the top and you pause for eight. And you exhale for eight. And then pause again at the bottom. And then you maybe stay there. You continue to just grow this breath. Staying really in tune with it. Really mindful and intentional with it. Purposeful. Being aware that at any point you might lose that mindful breath. The thought might wander to something else and that's okay you just notice when it does and you come back you come back and you just start to count again start to experience the breath again and being intentional with it being purposeful you practice it just right here right now
and then wherever you are just finish your round and then let the intentional the mind wander away from the breath and return into the physicality into the physicalness of your body And then from the physicalness of your body, bring your focus back to your space, to this space. To the humming, the birds, the cars passing by. And the sound of my voice. The honking, right? It's all part of the experience. Nothing wrong, nothing right. Just is. And then drink... Bring your hands to heart center on Jolly Mudra. Take a moment to just bring some gratitude into your morning for this time with yourself to practice being mindful, to practice being intentional, being purposeful. And just remember you can take this concept with you as you move throughout your day and you can choose to be purposeful. You can choose to be mindful with not just your actions, but with your thoughts, because your thoughts will directly impact what actions you take and how you feel. I thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you have an absolutely amazing Monday and a great week ahead. Namaste.